Hello, my name is Walker Peak with Commercial Acoustics. Today I'm going to show you how to soundproof a door for your apartment or home. You first want to look at two things when determining if your door blocks enough sound. One is whether the door is solid core or hollow core. You can determine this by knocking on the door and determining if it sounds hollow. Secondly is if it's very lightweight, you know that it is a hollow core door and not solid core. This is commonplace in interior partitions when thermal resistance is not required. Secondly, you want to look to see if there's gaps in and around the door. Uh, in this door, you can see that there's quite a few gaps without gaskets or seals along the edges, in the center, and along the bottom. This is very evident in the photo we took last night. Aside from the light test, there's other ways to determine if there's too much sound passing around your door. One of these is the paper test. I can obviously slide it very easily underneath this door, as well as through the center where there is no astragal or center support. If that's the case, the sound's passing both through your relatively light door, but also in and around the door. So how do we know how well our approach is working? Well, we're going to play white noise through this loudspeaker and, and measure it in the bedroom with a class 1 SPL meter to determine how much sound's coming through. It sounds something like this. And we'll be turning up the noise as we go. So now we just turned up the white noise speaker to 85 decibels in the hallway. And here, with the door closed, it becomes... ...55 dBA at this location. Let's try the same measurement with the doors open. Sixty-eight point five. So the doors are blocking about thirteen decibels in this set. Now, with the white noise machine on, we'll perform a five-second test inside the room with the door closed to determine how much sound the door is blocking. You can see that the door is blocking 10 decibels. Right inside the door, it was 68.5 dBA, and now it's 58.5 dBA. Here you can see the SPL meter in action. Uh, as I talk, it gets about 71 to 75, and when we stop, it will drop down to and settle at the ambient volume in the room. We tested dozens of products. We found a few that made a big difference for this client and were able to help them sleep better at night. One of these is the soundproofing curtain by Residential Acoustics. It seals with magnetic, magnetic perimeter seals as well as magnets in the center. It's made out of heavy-duty mass-loaded vinyl to prevent sound from passing straight through it while also preventing flanking around the edges. Now, with the soundproof curtain installed and the door closed, but prior to putting on the sweeps, we'll do a five-second average of the sound. This comes out to be 51.3. That's a 7 decibel drop from the initial measurement. Listen to how much louder it gets when the doors are open and when the curtain's removed. Next, we're going to install some door sweeps along the bottom flexible door seals in the center between the two doors 
and rigid door seals along the perimeter and the top. So our final test is now that the seams and seals have been replaced and the gaskets around the door, uh, we have the curtain drawn, the door with the gaskets closed, and we'll perform a final measurement. Now, just inside the room, we have a 47 dBA reading, meaning that from the initial time we looked at this door to now, we reduced it from a 58 to a 47, or effectively cut the amount of sound coming into the bedroom by 50%. So in conclusion, we were able to soundproof this door by adding a soundproofing curtain, as well as seals and sweeps around the door. This overall reduced the amount of sound passing through the door by 11 decibels. By pairing this with a sound masking machine such as a Marpac dome or other white noise generator, you can greatly reduce the amount of sound that you can hear in your bedroom late at night. See this as a demonstration. You can now hear some light background music. And that's how you can soundproof a door in your home.